Mad ethnic right now. I get it how I live it. Wait a I live it how I get it. What? Come to motherfucking digits. I pull it with a lemon. Wait a Not cause she ain't living. Wait. It's just Wait your eyes get acidic. And this ain't what? a scrimmage. Hey, what's up, you guys? My name's Aaliyah. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about how to achieve this look here. The most important thing about this look is obviously the graphic liner that you see right here. But also what I'm really excited about is this lip color. It's a part of the Fenty Beauty line. It's the Mademoiselle lipstick in the shade Griselda. It's amazing. I love the color. The formula is nice as well. I do have a gloss on top, so it's making it a little shiny. Now the majority of the key things that I've used on my face today is actually from Fenty Beauty. As you can tell by the title of the video, that's probably why you clicked it. But yeah, if you want to see how I got this look, then please keep on watching. Okay, so my brows are done, and now I'm just going to get started on the face. I'm going to be using the Smashbox Primerizer. This is a primer and a moisturizer in one. It's my favorite primer right now because my skin's really dry, and this really does help to keep the makeup on for longer. So I'm just going to put that all over my face. For my foundation today, of course, I will be using the Fenty Beauty Foundation. I am in the color 390, and I'm going to use that as my foundation because this is a Fenty Beauty video, and I love this foundation anyway. I think it looks really good. So to set that foundation, I'm going to be using the Pure Cosmetics 4-in-1 Pressed Mineral Powder. And this powder is really nice because it helps to like finish up the skin and just finish the foundation in a nice way without looking too cakey. And it also is a mineral base, so it's better for your skin than like one of those other powders that just are really heavy on the skin. Okay, so now for the concealer, I'm going to be... First, using one of the Fenty Matchsticks, and I'm going to use the lighter one. Um, I got the Caramel Truffle in Rom Trio, so I'm going to take Caramel and use that underneath my eye and all the areas that I want to highlight, but this is not really too much of a heavy highlight for me. It's just going to be like a cover-up. I really like the undertone in the formula of these Matchsticks because I think that they're perfect for my skin tone, and the texture is really nice to blend in. As you can see, it's not too far from my color, so someone who's going for more of a natural look, they could pick this one and just use this if they'd like to, but me, I like to look a little bit more bright. So that's what I'll be doing after I blend this in. So I'm going to be taking this Aqua Primer Mist from e.l.f., and I'm going to spray my beauty blender with it, and I'm going to blend in everything. As you can see, that just gave a nice natural highlight, but I am going for a brighter look, so I'm going to be taking my Waterproof Ulta Full Coverage Concealer, and this shade is Tan Warm. As you can see, it's a really nice bright yellow undertone concealer, and it stays all day. It's really full coverage. It's not expensive either, and a lot of times they have buy one, get one free deals at Ulta, so I'm going to like this below because this concealer is really good, and I feel like it's a really good dupe for the shape tape, if not a little better because it doesn't give you that dark underline underneath your eyes like how the shape tape sometimes does for me. This you can just use it by itself and as you can see it's very bright, very full coverage and it's really nice. Okay, so to set under my eyes, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, and I am going to be baking today, so I'm going to leave this on for a little bit, and then I'm going to dust it off using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder in the color Dark. So you're going to see that how I do that soon. But I'm just taking that same beauty blender, dipping it in, and I'm just going to pat it on. Also going to bring it up to my nose to create a little bit of a contour. It's also going to show me where I need to put my darker color when I do get into contouring. So 
So because most of the focus is going to be on the liner, I do want to really go for a dramatic snatched look on the face to kind of complement it so that it just doesn't leave it looking basic. So that's why I put so much powder this time and that's why I'm letting this sit for a bit. So now I'm going to get into contouring. I'm going to take the truffle color from the trio set and I'm going to just draw where I want to contour. Also, the shape of this is perfect for nose contouring. As you can see, it was just so simple for me to just draw the lines because it's like perfectly shaped for your nose area. I feel like that's so bugged out. It like it looks really good and it's really easy to use. So I'm gonna blend that out as usual using my Tarte Double Ended Brush. So I'm going to let the nose contour sit a little bit so it can settle in and get kind of like stuck there because I have an issue sometimes with my nose being oily. A lot of times the contour goes away so this is a good trick if you want it to really like set and stick to your skin. Definitely let it sit for a bit but to set that contour that I placed already I'm going to be using my Black Radiance um, True Complexion Contour Palette and I'm taking the darkest shade which is this one <laughs> and I'm going to blend that out into my skin to set the contour. So now I'm going to be blending out the nose contour and then I'm going to set it using the same powder that I just used for my face. Okay, so now it's time to dust away that powder that we put to set underneath the eye. So I'm taking that MAC powder like I mentioned earlier and I'm going to take a fluffy brush and just fluff this all around my face including the area that I placed the powder. As you can see that just left a really nice finish. Using that powder really helps to set everything and to give it like a radiant look instead of it looking really powdery and dry. So next for my blush, I'm gonna be using the Estee Lauder Wild Sunset Blush. This is a favorite of mine. It's been my favorite for like two years. It's so pretty, it's like a nice peach. You're gonna see once I apply it how pretty it looks and it looks good on all skin tones. Okay, so now it's time for the moment that we've been waiting for, the graphic liner. The liner that I'm going to show you guys today how to do. And I'll see if I can bring you guys in closer while I'm editing, but as of right now, I'm just going to try to work with this because I got a new lens and I don't really know how to work with it yet. So bear with me. I'll find the best way to, you know, try to guide you guys through it. But basically, first I'm just going to be drawing a regular wing liner like how you would. Um, so that's what I'm going to do first, and I need concentration for this part, so I'm going to have to shut my mouth, but you guys can follow by watching. Okay, so both of my wings are done. They are about as similar as they're going to get. I don't usually like to go this shiny with my liner. This one's not my favorite, but I ran out of my favorite one, so I'm working with what I got. So now it's time to get into the graphic part. So what I'm going to be doing is taking the liner and bringing it right above where my eye crease is. It's about right here, and I'm just going to kind of carve out where my eye is 
And I'm going to decide later on if I want to connect it or if I just want to bring it out. But something tells me that I'm, this time I'm just going to bring it out because I've already connected it before so I want to try something different. So I'm experimenting while I'm with you guys here on camera so let's see how this goes. Okay, so I feel like my camera cut off right when I was like finishing up. As you can see, I decided to pretty much bring it out instead of connecting it. And I also decided to elongate this here in the corner of my eye and to just bring it out to make it look really dramatic. As you can see, it's really shiny, so it's like pop in your face. I think it still looks nice, and once we put on the lash, it's gonna look even better. So now I'm gonna go to the other eye and try to make it look the same. Wish me luck. This one, I pictured it in my mind. I thought it was gonna look just a little bit different than this, but I am not mad at this look, honestly. I like this eye better than I do this one, but it's all good, because like I said, when we put the lashes on, it's gonna look perfectly fine. So for my lashes, I'm going to be using these here. These are my favorite lashes ever, of course. They're make lashes from AliExpress. I get them for $2.39. I always talk about them like every video. So I'm gonna link them below as usual for you guys, because what else do I do? Why wouldn't I? So I'm gonna apply these. I'm not gonna do it on camera because it takes too much time and I'm sure you guys have seen so many lash videos before, so. So as you can see, my lashes are on now. I think I look absolutely insane. I look insane, but you know what? We're gonna add a little bit more glitz and glam to this by adding the Stila Smoldering Satin Liquid Glitter. I'm gonna put that right in the corners of my eye. Oh, I knew that was going to make this look pop off, you guys. Look at that. Mmm. 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 You see that? It looks so pretty. Okay. So next, I'm going to get started on my lashes, my bottom lashes, that is. I'm going to take the L'Oreal Voluminous Primer, and I'm going to use that on the bottom just to make the top match the bottom, as I always do. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry, and I'm going to go in with the NYC Big Curl Mascara. It's my favorite mascara ever, and I'm just going to match my top lashes with the false lashes. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at how embarrassing that is. <laughs> I obviously did not press these on enough. Oh, that is so lame. All right, luckily there's enough glue on there for it to stay. It's fine, you guys. I just didn't press it down enough. That was so terrible. Imagine if this was live program. How embarrassing and sad would that have been for me, you guys? That would have been pathetic. So I don't mind if it has that little bit of clumpiness. I feel like it adds to the look. It gives it like that twiggy look, and I like that a lot. But I am going to go in with another mascara just to make sure that each lash is combed out so to give it even more of a twiggy look. Using the Essence Lash Princess, I always use this mascara. I love it. It's so inexpensive, but it really gets the job done and some, so I'm going to apply that. When you get into the highlight, I like to do this little mixture sometimes when I'm going for a really dramatic look. So what I do is I take the Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife. Let's admire her for a second. Yes, honey. I like to take her, and I like to mix her with my Rinky Dink uh, Fake Ass Iconic Liquid Highlighter. This one's fake. I got it off of, um, why would it say it's fake? But it's not the real, original, iconic brand liquid highlighter. This one's from the brand Beauty Glazed. Um, they make a lot of dupes, usually found online. I got that one off of Wish. Um, so I like to take both of them and mix them. So what I like to do first is take a flat surface. I'm going to take this. I'm going to be real janky right now and use my lash 
package and I like to take a couple of drips about this much because this liquid highlight is very intense and I don't want it to overpower the trophy wife and then I like to take the trophy wife and I know a lot of people are going to be clutching their chest right now I like to scrape out some of it if you look up close you can kind of see that there's a little bit of a scrape kind of indentation there from what I've done it before but I just like to take it and scrape it into the mixture that I have here with the liquid highlight and then when I feel like it's mixed enough I like to take a tapered brush not a fan brush because I feel like this helps to pick up this small amount of product better and I just like to brush it on my areas where I would normally highlight Oh, and as you can see, very, very pretty. I'm feeling it. I am. I feel like it's very editorial. This is my good side, you guys. This side's a little weird. But this is my good side. So I'm going to set my face using the All Nighter from Urban Decay. No, I'm not going anywhere tonight, but for the sake of the video. Now for the second portion that we've been waiting for, the lips. So I'm going to start off with my Court K by Kylie Cosmetics. Next, I'm going to be taking this cute little mini of the Mademoiselle lipstick in Griselda from Fenty Beauty Line. If you go to Sephora now, they do have these little minis as like a... Um, the Beauty Insider point, you can redeem these. It is 100 points for this, I think. I don't know, I just kind of asked for it when I saw it, but we're gonna see how it looks. Absolutely gorgeous. And we're not just gonna leave this like this, we do have to add a little bit of kick to it. So I will be taking the Curve Royale from Buxom it is a nice lacquer that's plumping and it's also very dark and I'm going to put that right over it because we are going for dominatrix vibes today you guys. This looks so pretty. Alright you guys so this is a completed look. You made it this far so you might as well go ahead and click that subscribe button. If you did enjoy this video you can give me a thumbs up and you can also comment below and let me know what your favorite products are this year so far since the new year started. What have you been loving recently? Have you tried the foundation yet from Fenty? Do you love it? Let me know. I just want to know everybody's opinions on these products that I use today. And as usual, I'm sending so much love your way, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Be okay. So I played and I played. It's Rihanna, nigga. My constellation is space. Words, please. Don't spark and chase, nigga. Bath salt. Bite speakers in the face. Bath salt.